I have ADHD, but my problem isn't a short attention span, it's that most people aren't that interesting. ADHD jokes often play on and contribute to the stigma of the condition. A stigma is a preconceived notion about something or someone that is often harmful. And I say often harmful because harmful is subjective. I use humor daily to deal with life in general. To me, ADHD jokes aren't a big deal, but most of them are tired and not really funny. But when someone comes up with a good new one, I enjoy it. ADHD jokes is hard to say. Go from a D to a J. DJ, DJ. <laughs> Go from D I think some depression jokes are funny. A lot of people think no depression jokes are funny. Personally, I don't like OCD jokes at all, and that's coming from a person with chronic depression who's ADHD AF and doesn't have OCD. Years ago, I went to a comedy show with some family members. One comic had a routine about his crappy car, a Ford Escort, which he called the official car of Domino's Pizza. And at the time, back in the 1990s, that was an actual fact, although I couldn't find a picture of one to save my life. What I can say is don't Google the phrase Domino's Escort. In the USA, we didn't get the cool Escort. It came as a budget-friendly, entry-level car with 85 horsepower. And my mom had one. This comedian spent about five minutes bashing the Ford Escort, and I noticed my mom didn't laugh at any of his jokes. As we were leaving the show, I saw she was still fuming, and I asked her what's wrong, and she complained about the Escort jokes. She said he was being insensitive to people who drive Escorts. This all goes to show you, no matter how innocent a joke may seem, it could hurt someone's feelings. Now I'm excitedly anticipating the commenter who said my mom was right and the escort was a great car. And conversely, no matter how offensive a joke is, someone will find it funny. We just have to navigate our social lives with that in mind. But not every ADHD stigma has to do with a joke. Or a pie. Or a cat. A dog. A bite. TV. Or a rock. Hi, John. Much of the ADHD stigma is based on misinformation. Like, ADHD isn't real. This one's pretty popular, even with some doctors. Like this one who wrote a book about how it doesn't exist, which concludes that it actually does exist. Or this guy who says it's all one big fraud in order to push pharmaceuticals and make money. He's even said psychiatry in general is a fraud, and he's testified to that belief before Congress. He doesn't believe in ADHD or psychiatry, but he's connected with a group that believes there's a galactic federation, and 75 million year old DC-8 airplanes, and really expensive books. ADHD is one of the most scientifically studied conditions we have. And because of that, we know that those of us with ADHD actually have slightly smaller brains than the rest of the population. Shut up. And there have been numerous fMRI studies to show that an ADHD brain works differently than a neurotypical brain. You know, I've never been crazy about PC jargon. It adds too many syllables. I'm just gonna say normal brain. And a lot of people think normal is good. It's not. It's not bad. It's status quo. It's vanilla. Not that awesome and dolly vi awesome and dolly v not that awesome and dolly vid vanilla, 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 vanilla. Ah! It's vanilla. And not that awesome and dolly vanilla from Jenny's. It's the store brand stuff with the freezer burn in the big plastic tub. Take that, normies. Anyway, studies have found that dopamine pathways in an ADHD brain work differently than those in a vanilla brain. And while it's true we don't know everything about ADHD, that's also true for pretty much everything else in our body. Here's one. ADHD is an excuse for laziness. Sure, I'll leave the lasagna burning in the oven for five hours till the smoke alarm goes off because I don't feel like getting up and I really like scouring pans. You just want amphetamines. First of all, obtaining and filling a prescription for Ritalin or Adderall is a pain in the butt and remember you just said we're lazy. Everyone gets distracted, sure, and everyone gets sad, but not everyone's depressed. Lots of people get drunk. Doesn't mean all of them are alcoholic. And everybody pees in the pool. That doesn't mean that ADHD makes you creative. It makes you impulsive and more willing to take risks, which can lead to creativity. Not everyone with ADHD is necessarily creative. People have a wide range of cognitive abilities. And there are some that think they're creative, but they're just a disorganized mess with a lot of bad ideas. If you can focus on that, you can focus on this. Yes, ADHD people can focus. The deficit part of the name is wrong. It's not a deficit of attention we have. It's misdirected attention. If I have $100 to buy groceries and instead I spend it on t-shirts and toys, that's not a deficit of funds, that's a misdirection of funds. It's also why I shouldn't buy groceries at Target. You'll outgrow ADHD. A lot of doctors say not likely and that a lot of adults don't show symptoms because they've been beaten into submission like a broke horse. But you're not hyper. Not hyper on the outside. Just because someone with ADHD isn't falling out of their chair doesn't mean their brain's not running a decathlon. It's just too much caffeine and sugar 
sugar. There are studies that show that caffeine and sugar can worsen symptoms of ADHD, but that doesn't mean they cause ADHD. And there are many ADHD folks who don't consume sugar or caffeine, and if you're one of them, I feel sorry for you. It's just lazy parenting. The kid's a brat. Well, brats with lazy parents certainly exist, and there are brats with ADHD. Not everyone with ADHD is a brat. A lot of times, parents are trying extra hard with an ADHD kid versus a neurotypical one that can pretty much go away on autopilot at what? Two? Everyone has a little ADHD. Nope. Just like not everyone has depression, alcoholism, or urolagnia. Meds like Ritalin and Adderall give someone an unfair advantage. Yeah, just like glasses or wheelchairs or insulin. ADHD is overdiagnosed. And that one's possibly true, but it doesn't mean the condition doesn't exist. It's like the whole gluten thing. It's crazy, but some people actually have celiac. If I earned your subscription, please hit the button and the bell. My kid also makes videos. I'll link her at the end. Thanks for watching. Stay out of the comfort zone. Mars, the only planet we know of inhabited totally by Robot. Eight robots have successfully landed on Mars.